This is a little video to explain how I made an interactive dance floor in my basement. The heart of the whole thing is the Makey Makey. The Makey Makey is a USB circuit board. It has 18 key press connections and one ground connection. If it detects even a faint electrical signal going between a key press connection and the ground, then it sends a key press to the computer. So for example, if I touch uh, the other side of this red connection here, which is a key press, and then connect it to the ground, which is the end here, with my finger, like that, and you see it lights up, and then it starts sending F key presses to the computer. So, I'm using all 18 of the key press connections on the Makey Makey. The wires come out of the Makey Makey, they, most of them go into this uh, 25 pin connector here that I soldered them into. And they come down here, out into their individual connections, and then uh, under the floor. Just to use one as, as an example here. Each tile has two wires going through it, and the wire connected to the key press connection on the Makey Makey is uh, attached to this larger rectangle of aluminum tape. Then there's an insulating layer of duct tape on top of that, and then the wire for the ground pokes through both of those layers and is connected to this top, smaller rectangle of aluminum tape. So, all those key presses were then uh, assigned to different samples here on live, like so. So what happens if you connect the inner circle with the outer circle, for example, by stepping on it like this, then you cue a loop. You can turn it off again by stepping on it again. So the green tiles are all drum loops. The blue tiles are all like comping loops, like uh, guitar parts, piano parts, or bass parts. And the yellow tiles are all like lead parts or melody parts. Um, and the red tiles are parts that happen only once without looping. And they also stop a loop that's the same color as the electrical tape around their border. So this one stops a drum loop because it has green tape around its border. And uh, I also panned each sample hard left or right and then I put an R or an L on their tile. Um, so that just helps people make sense of what sound is coming out of where. So if, there, if there's a drum loop coming out of the right channel they know if they step on a green R tile, that's probably going to affect it. So that's about the whole thing. The party was a uh, New Year's Eve themed party. It wasn't New Year's Eve, but we were pretending it was. So I made some of the samples New Year's Eve related, like this one. What's up? Somebody in a blue! Somebody in a blue! Somebody in a blue! Green! We need a green! Green! Only one time! Only one time! <laughs> This is a hot. This is so good. 
Ivanov, 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 Ivan